Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to design animated infographic timeline on just PowerPoint. And don't forget to leave your comments. Please subscribe and press the bell icon. Now I will show you the process of designing the animated infographic timeline. So let's get start. Here I already take a blank slide. Pick this rounded rectangle shape and make it like this. Using this yellow dot, you can edit shape corners smoothly. Now pick the triangle shape, and make it like this. Place it here align with rectangle shape. Change shape size using Ctrl plus Shift key. Make duplicate copy of same shape, with holding control key. Now select these two shapes to make union. Again select both shapes, then choose subtract. hold and drag down here center of slide then right click remove outlines from the shape go to shape format click this small arrow option click fill I choose my gradient color then select the R shape after that select gradient fill option now double click on the top of the shape, then type 2017. Select all the text to change font style, I'm using Gotham font for our design, and change font size. Pick the oval shape, make it like this. Make it center. Remove outlines and add gradient for our shape. Pick the line shape, I make it like this. Then increase the width size, and change dash type. Change outline color using eyedropper tool. Now I pick the hexagon shape, make it like this. I rotate the shape to right side. Select Gradient Fill. Using Ctrl plus D, I make duplicate shapes. Place it center of main shape. Now using Ctrl plus Shift, to resize the shape. Select our shape, then go to the shape effects, click glow. Click shadow, change blur size. I already take my icons. But don't worry I gave the icons with PowerPoint template for free, I gave the link in description.
get the text box, then type your title in here. Change font style and make it bold. Make duplicate copy using control key. Type 2018. Change gradient color, using same steps before I used, it's much easier to change gradient color. First make gradient, select your shape, and then select gradient fill. Go to rotate, choose flip vertical. Click solid fill, select gradient color. Then select gradient fill. Change outline color using eyedropper tool. Select all the shapes. Then using control key make duplicate copy. Right click, select white color. Choose gradient, and select shape. Then click gradient fill option. I place our icon, in middle of the shape like this. To group all the shapes and text boxes, using Ctrl plus G. Make another duplicate copy. Change title number 2, and change font color. Get another copy, holding Ctrl key. Add gradient color into our shape. Type year 2019. Rotate, flip vertical. Change fill color into white. Do you have any question about this tutorial, ask me anything in comment section, I happy to help for you. Select these two shapes, to make duplicate copy. Now change gradient color. Holding control key I make another copy. Type year 2020. Make it center. With eyedropper tool, change outline color.
Type Year 2021. Change Gradient Color. Get another duplicate copy holding control key. Now I group all these shape using control plus G. We need more shadow effect, so let's go to shape format. Click shape effect. Select this shadow option. This setting gives more attractive and smooth shadow effect for our design. Select these three shapes, and add shadow effect at once. Ok designing part is done, now time to add animation for our design let's go to the animation tab. Select fly in, direction from a left. Set the duration time. Let's play. Our animation not smooth, so go to effect option. Then adjust smooth levels in here. Then press OK. Select Wipe Animation. Set with Previous, Add Duration Time and Delay Time. Add Animation, More Effects, then select Basic Zoom. Set with previous. Choose float in. Change duration time and delay time. Let's play first animation part of our design. If you want to same animation for other shapes. You can use Animation Painter tool, copy same animation what we used previously.
When you adding animation for your shapes, please check again which direction you want to animate, it's very important. Let's see our final result. Ok guys, if you are like this video, you can give like and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you next video bye bye.